Hi, welcome to my channel, Jesus Loving Mama. Today I'm going to take a look inside BJU's Science 2, their fifth edition. It's their newest one that they have out there for second grade. And this year I ordered the kit, um, the teacher-led kit, so let's see what we get in the kit. We get the student book, we get the student activity book, the student answer key for those activity pages. And then you get some tests with the test answers, and then you get the teacher edition book. Okay, so that's everything you get in the kit. So let's start with the student book. And the student book this year is bigger than the science one book. Um, it is about 11 inches, where the science one is about 9 inches, so just a little bit taller. Um, it has more words than science one. Now that they're in science too, they're going to have to read a little bit more. And the words are at a second grade level though, so good reading level for them still, so they can understand. And this year they're going to be learning about matter and motion, earth and space, and living things. And let's take a look, they got nice colorful pages. Um, here's an investigation activity they get to do. Okay. And here's STEM activities they get to do. They're just nice and colorful. Here's another investigation. Another investigation. Lots of hands on. more STEM. That's one reason why we love this curriculum is that there's lots of hands-on, more investigation and STEM here. So you to play with matter. Here's a magnet an activity they get to do. There's lots of stuff here. Seed one. It's just so pretty and colorful. Each chapter has a big question. Written so they can understand it. Talking about animals. Lots of good stuff in here. Dinosaurs, fossils this year, how the human body works. I'm going to go into a little more detail this year about that. And then at the back, they have a glossary dictionary for your child to use if they need it. And then their index. Okay. And they do ask that every student, um, that your student keeps a science notebook. Um, so we got this three ring binder for our daughter and then um, she's going to put her activity pages in here. And they also need a world map. Um, so we don't have one on our wall. So I bought this one and it's just in here so she can refer to it. They just want them to learn how to start organizing their papers. And then they actually have them in their notebook as well for when they have a test coming up, they can refer back to the study guides to review. Um, so it's nice to have them all right here. Okay, well, here is the activity book. And it has the easy to rip pages, so they just come right out. Just rip them right out. Oops. Rip right out like that, nice and clean. Okay, so here's lesson one here. And you can see they just have some circle the answer, matching, uh, but the worksheets are nice and colorful as well. And then here's like their investigation paper that we saw in the textbook. That's the paper that goes with it. And they draw their conclusions on it. Here's their STEM activity paper. And then each chapter starts with a Bible verse. There's some cut and pasting. Or fill in the blank and circle the answers or circles. Another project. And you don't have to do all the hands-on if you want, don't want to, but we love having all the hands-on because we have lots of options on what to do. Helps us understand and see things better. And here's their study guide. And 
creativity. Take a look down here in the middle. Just circle pictures. So complete the definitions. So this one, they don't give them any options, it looks like, so they're going to have to find the answer. And just fill in the bubble. And then they usually have an essay question here on their study guide, so more investigation stuff. Work, but not a ton of writing. Looks like in the back here, they can never write out some stuff. Maybe write about it one. They do have this um, for this activity, they actually get to go on the internet and do some research on a dinosaur. And then they get to write down what they learned about that. What I learned about my dinosaur. It's going to be a fun science year. And then here's just the answer key. Same thing as the student activity one. This one just has the answers and they're all labeled in red. Okay. Here is the test and test answers, and I just put them inside of a three-prong folder. So I put their student tests here that I can just pull out and give to them, and then I put the answers over here. I can just, so they're all together, and I can correct her test. And they also have rubrics in the back if you want to do those for the projects. Um, I don't usually do them at this level, but if you would like to, you can do those as well. Okay, now let's go into the teacher's edition. Okay, and you have your table of contents. You start with unit one, the matter and motion, unit two, earth and space, and unit three is living things. I really um, like the order that they did this year because um, I like the living things at the end because we usually get there at springtime because we start this in the fall and then we usually take all, all year to go through it. So we can kind of get outside and explore all the living things. Okay, and then you have all the teacher resources. Um, so they help you with scheduling, the notebook, um, teaching a lesson. So it goes all into that. Um, and it has a materials list in the back for each one. And then your instructional aids, your visuals. So I just put a little tab back here. And then I can flip back to the visuals. So like in lesson one, we're gonna need this visual so I can just flip back there and show it to her without copying or anything. And then lesson two, here we go. We have a visual, it's ready to go. So that's what I do. And then they have their instructional aids, which they have these bookmarks. If your student wants a bookmark, you can copy those and cut them out, laminate them, give them to your student to have. And then here are the material materials you will need. I mean, they do it by chapter, which is really nice. So you can gather all the materials you need for that chapter and have them handy. Um, and then as you need them, pull them out. What I did is I've gone through all these for all the chapters to make sure we had them around the house. If not, I um, ordered some stuff to get in so that we're prepared. Some stuff I'm going to have to mark because we're going to need later on um, where they're going to be learning about tadpoles and butterflies this year. Um, so I might either order some caterpillars or some tadpoles or something so we can watch them grow. So that's something I'll get on get later on. Um, but that'll be something fun to do. So you can have all your materials ready. That's nice that it's just right there for you so you don't have to go lesson by lesson and see what you need okay and each unit has a different color so unit one is green unit two is blue unit three is orange um, so it's fun 
nice way to organize it so you can see how much you have left in that unit. And here's lesson one. I just mark where we're at. We haven't started yet, so I got it on lesson one. And here are the student pages. This is what your student will be looking at, and then you'll have all these. And in the first lesson, they have these red boxes to help you on your first day of teaching. And they also have these helps boxes. See, it tells you about the science notebook, how they want them to keep one for organizational skills. Each lesson ends with a check question and then you have the answer. Okay, and so if you're to do a lesson, let's start and move into here. So here's one on the solar system. So here's lesson 31. This one you're actually beginning a new chapter. Um, so it gives you your chapter objectives, your lesson objectives, your resources you're going to need. Um, it gives you an introduction. Um, and then it gives you some background on your pictures. And see, then they have these preparing ahead. Those are nice to have. So in lesson 33, um, make sure you have your required materials. So usually it's something you're just going to need to do a little preparation or it's something you don't usually have around the house. Um, so and then the blue, that is what you're going to be telling your student to do um, or what you need to be doing. So it says direct the students to read, page 81. And then um, the blue are the questions you're going to be asking your student and the pink is what the answer is. And these gears means that's a critical question. So the answer is not going to be black and white in the book. The student's going to have to think about the answer to that question. Okay. So here's the end of the lesson. So more preparation for reading. i just kind of go over some of the vocabulary. And you can just play Bible verses here. Um, BJU is biblically based, so the science program is based on the Bible that we were created by God, and that we are a special creation. So you will need a Bible for this program, because you do read Bible verses. A lot of them they have in the back, though, as a visual, right, right here. So you can just refer to your visuals as well. And then they have the activities that you're going to do for that lesson. So a couple worksheets. This is just your Bible verse. They're not going to need to do anything with that. Um, and then a couple pages. And then here's the next lesson. All the materials you're going to need for that. Your resources. Introduction. The blue again is what you tell your student. And the pink should be what they're answering with. And then here's the additional activities. So on the materials list, it has additional activities back here. And that is what these are. So you don't have to do these. They're just additional hands-on activities for your student to do to understand the concept a little better. And that's why I love this program. Number one, it's biblically based. And number two is because there's so many hands-on. And you don't even have to do all of them. But if you want to, these are the additional items you're going to need for those activities. So for one day, you'll just get up, open your book, make sure you have the materials. So you make sure you have a globe, a lamp without a shade, a desk or table, and a small piece of red clay. Get your book out, make sure you have your um, student pages that they're going to need. Um, so you'll make sure you have 97, 98, 99 for this lesson. And then if you want to do the additional activity, make sure you have a calendar. So, and then you just sit down with your student and start talking. So it's really, really easy to follow. I have a hard time with science. This is my favorite subject to teach now. I just love it. I, I learn along with her and it's so easy that while well, I'm learning, then it helps me explain it to her as well. Because I can understand it, where I was scared that I would not be able to teach science, because I never understood it in school. But so this, I just really love this program. And then you have on the review days, they have games if you want to play them. Um, my daughter usually grasps the concepts in science one, so we never really did any of the games or review. We just did the test, and she did awesome. But 
um, where this year's a little more detailed. We might need to do a few of those to refresh and remember. And then you just have the test. We usually combine those two days just to save a day. And we have the free day for a field trip or something. So this is unit two. So many activities this year, it looks like. It's going to be fun. We haven't started yet, so I'm really excited to get into it. We're starting next week. Okay, and then this is the living things. This is usually my favorite chapter or unit is on you. living things. Okay, and more games. Usually it, it's always a different review game. They don't always do the same one, so that's fun. Okay, and each lesson, um, they say like 30 minutes a lesson. Well, depending on if you do the extra activities, it could go into 45 minutes to an hour, how long you spend on it. Um, we tend to enjoy it, so um, on a short lesson, yeah, it does take us 30 minutes, but it can take us up to 60 minutes just because we like to do the extra activities. And so just depends. You can make it as short or as long as you want. Some days when we're running behind, we just kind of do the lesson and then do the activity another time. So you learn about fossils and dinosaurs and the body. And it's going to be a fun year. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so that's a look inside there. Hopefully it kind of helps you see how a day goes, um, what all they'll be doing. Anyway, a little bit of what they'll be doing. But if you loved Science One, I'm thinking we're going to be loving this one too. So you get the student or the teacher book, the test, and then the answer key for the activity book here. And then you get the student book. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of the look inside BJU's science too. Um, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask me below. I'll put the link um, for BJU down below as well. Um, so thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.